little bit of narration for you okay, <laughs> okay. the feast at G Bossing Power come and join us come and join us at the G Bossing Power the, the feast community feast I made a mistake <laughs> she looked at me kind of <laughs> I uh, went to my truck and I pulled out a few of my gifts and uh, one of them is uh, tobacco and uh, one of them is uh, a beverage and the other one is a little bit of food and a little one to look after your feet and uh, that's uh, that, that's something that uh, we often overlook even as uh, as people with a little bit of authority at gatherings or conferences or even in our households is that sometimes we have to make that offering uh, to make the spirit uh, to, to, to vow the spirit of of, uh, of, of speaking. So uh, when I've asked him to do that for me, uh, he's speaking uh, for us. 
So it, it, it understands uh, uh, the spirit giving. Just as, as beautiful as friends as we are, there's still that, that respect for his spirit of his gift of teaching. So that's what the, that's what the, the, the offering is, is, is honoring, uh, honoring the respect of, uh, of his knowledge and the things that he carries and responsibility. So I just thought I'd share that with us as, as we're relearning some old ways. And that was one of the nicest things that was uh, shared with me, uh, for us. Nahadash, miigwech. Miigwech, nikane. Oh, miigwech, Mr. MC. I'd like to uh, uh, say on behalf of the hoop dancers that this, uh, what you're going to be uh, witnessing here, ladies and gentlemen, is called the Native American Hoop Dance. I've been studying this hoop dance since I was eight years old, when I was a little boy. Two years ago, in the week at one of the first powwows, 1965, when I first seen my hoop dancer. And uh, at that time, I uh, wanted to uh, do that, because I wanted to be uh, Nishnab, I wanted to be Indian. Because I love watching the hoop dancer when he was making those designs and the beauty of Mother Earth and all those designs that he made were uh, very, very beautiful to me. Like the beauty of Mother Earth. The sun and the moon, the rainbows, the insects, and the plants that we have here on Mother Earth. And in my growing up with the hoop dance, I talked to many hoop dancers and I learned about the hoop dance. You'll see designs of medicine plants like this. Chidmozoamak is one of the plants that I see right here in the, in the Pawa ground. This is a very beautiful medicine, one of our medicines that we use in our uh, ceremonies, in our uh, healthy drinks that we have, that was given to us by the Creator, Shemanado. And um, somebody, somebody was passing around some wiki. Sweet flags in Kade for our throats, for the singers, another medicine plant. And during that dance, you will see these designs of all these medicine plants that we, that we use as a native people. It's a way of life. That's the way our grandmothers, our grandfathers uh, uh, learned these things. This, uh, these items were given to us to use as gifts from the Creator. As such, we make those designs to show you people that this, this design I'm making is a medicine plant. This is the design I'm making is uh, another special kind of uh, herb that we might use in our uh, medicines that we, uh, we use on a daily basis. Native people do knew many, many, many medicinal plants as we grew up. And uh, this is very special to us. This particular dance, this Native American hoop dance, came from the Hopi people, from the Navajo. And in time, this dance was given the okay to do it in public, as we see here today. This was a medicine dance at one time, a very holy, special medicine dance used by the medicine men, medicine men in, uh, in the southern United States. And through our travels throughout North America, when we we, we came upon this tribe, Navajo, Hopi people. They allow us to learn that dance and they said it's okay for us, for you people to go and share that to your other tribes. We must educate the other tribes and the other people that are coming to, uh, to see our way of life and our songs and our dances. And that's how this hoop dance came to be. You'll see in these dancers, these two dancers, Bobby Sukels, put up your hand. Liberty. Bobby Sukels, it's a round of applause for Rock Bobby Sukels, Liberty. One of our power organizers here in Shibasing. And Miss Carol Sagan, put up your hand, Carol. Car Crystal Sagan. Crystal Sagan on this side here. Another uh, one of the power organizers here. And these two ladies have been studying the hoop dance as well for a number of years. And uh, I'm very proud of them. And I hope that uh, they keep doing it and show their children, their babies, their grandchildren, because it's a dance that's very special and it shows the beauty of our people.
Flying the eagle, the flower, the butterfly, take it away, singers! Eight times two, eight, eight.